in this tutorial i am going to explain what all different things you can do using spotlight search on your mac machine either you can press command and spacebar to open it or you can click this search icon on the top right corner of your machine that will also open the spotlight search for you let's talk about what we can do using spotlight search very common search a file or folder for example if i type sz then it will show me all different folders and files and there are many more things but let's focus on folders and files if i want to open this folder i will double click it it will open the folder right if i want to open this file it will show me a preview also if i want to open it i will double click it then it will open this file as well right very simple let's move to the next one how to open a containing folder so many times you don't want to open a particular file but you do want to open the containing folder for that particular file for example this file if i select this file in my spotlight search window and i press the command button you can notice that it is showing me this path sunil kumar sz thumb sz github underscore underscore v2 if i leave the command button it will go away yeah you can see this little animation when i press it shows me the path if you want to open this particular path keep pressing the command button and then double click this file it will open the containing folder and not the file there is one more way to do that just select the file and then press command r so that will also open the containing folder you can also launch an application for example if i type photo then you can see that it is showing me all different applications which have this keyword photo in it if you want to open a particular application just double click it and it will be opened on your machine okay simple preview of different files for example if i search for any pdf file okay say dot pdf if i type dot pdf then it will show me different pdf files available on my machine let me be very specific and let me search say math space pdf so there is there is one thing that you need to understand that it does not work with the wildcard characters i don't know why so you can still use space so i typed math space pdf so mathematics.pdf so it has searched for this particular file mathematics.pdf and this is the preview of the file you can increase the window size vertically but not horizontally i don't know why but you can see the complete preview of the file within spotlight search window okay for example if you want to search for any xls okay so i searched for dot xls so it is showing me different xls files so top one is testing files so you can notice that it is showing me the different tabs as well okay so you can switch between the tabs right here in your spotlight search window you can scroll horizontally as well and vertically as well if your file is quite long siri is also integrated within it so if i search say for what is google then you can see that uh, we have siri knowledge available if you select it then it will tell you about whatever response you are expecting from the siri as displayed here as a text as well maybe a bit more right finding special type of files for example kind colon so you have to write kind audio so if you want to search for only audio files and you will write kind colon audio okay it will show you all the files available on your machine and if you want to search for say a particular file say a2 then all those files which have this keyword a2 will be displayed and then you can double click it to play it next cool thing is that if you want to open a website you need not open your browser you can simply type the name of the site in spotlight search and most probably it will be at the top of the search items then just press enter and it will open it into your default browser that's cool it can also show you the previously opened pages from your history so if i say search mathe mafia then you can see that uh, bookmarks and history so it is showing me few links if i double click any of these then it will open those pages directly right cool let's move to the next one the calculator is also integrated with it so you can directly write say 23 into 12 and it's showing me the answer 276 
and if I press enter it will open the calculator application as well next super cool thing is weather just type weather and it will show you the weather in your current location so it's showing me the weather of Gurgaon because I am in Gurgaon I simply typed weather nothing else if I type say weather in London then it will show me the weather in London you can also search for eating joints so say place to eat okay if I type it then it will fetch few restaurants and outlets where I can go and have some snacks uh, I'm not sure how mature it is if I try to find the directions then it will show me that uh, it is 25 minutes so that's not really very close because there are many more near me but I'm not sure whether the search results are not mature or the integration is not mature but still the facility is available in spotlight search similarly you can find the showrooms near you for example if i want to find any honda showroom near my house or near my location then it is fetching some data but i must say that this is also not really very mature because Faridabad is quite far away from my home and there are so many other Honda showrooms near my house okay you can search your gmail as well so I have gmail application installed on my machine on my mac machine so if I type say paytm then you can see that it is fetching all the data from my emails regarding paytm that how much I withdrew or I paid so such kind of information any particular message or email you want to find then you can also find directly using your spotlight search now one very cool thing is that for example you have calendar and in calendar you have few events already you have set up some events for example i have set up the spotlight demo on 2nd september okay so if you want to search for any particular event all you need to do is type the name of your event for example spotlight demo so it will fetch the result from the calendar and if you double click it then it will open the calendar and will highlight that particular event as well another cool thing for football players so if you type the name of your team then it will show if any particular football is going on and will show the previous history of that particular team as well so it does not really work with say India cricket team if I write say cricket team India cricket team then uh, no so it will just fetch the data about that particular team but for football it does work let's try to search Manchester United so you can see that it is fetching the data for a particular football team let's try to do say versus Crystal Palace it does show you the stats between the two teams as well but uh, probably it's restricted for football and maybe a couple of other games but not for cricket especially I can say that last very important thing currency exchange rate say dollar to pound is just showing me a page from the browsing history regarding dollar to pound but if you really want to see the exchange rate you have to write a numeric figure in the front say one dollar to pound you can add a space as well one dollar to pound and you can write say one twenty dollar to pound okay so it will give you the exchange rate here only if you double click this item or if you press enter then it will open the google with the same search keywords so probably spotlight does fetches the data from google search only for this particular thing so that's it from this tutorial now you can see that spotlight search is not restricted to only searching for files and folders but it has much more to do for us there is more that you can do with spotlight search but for me these are the top 15 cool so that's it from this tutorial keep watching study zone